We move on to the part 4.1.2. Thirdly, market risk. Market risk arises from the level or volatility of market prices of assets. It involves the exposure to movements in the level of financial variables such as share prices, interest rates, exchange rates or commodity prices. It also includes the exposure of options to movements in the underlying asset price. Market risk also involves the exposure to other unanticipated movements in financial variables or to movements in the actual or implied volatility of asset prices and options. This category, which corresponds to market risk in the risk framework, includes 1. Interest rate risk, risk of exposure to losses resulting from fluctuations in interest rates. 2. Spread risk, risk that interest spreads will fluctuate. 3. Equity and property risk, risk of exposure to losses resulting from fluctuation of market values of equities and other assets. 4. Currency risk, risk that relative changes in currency values decrease values of foreign assets or increase the value of obligations denominated in foreign currencies. Market risk in the risk framework. Fiercely, basic risk, risk that yields on instruments of varying credit quality liquidity and maturity do not move together, thus exposing the company to market value variation that is independent of liability values. Secondly, reinvestment risk. Risk that the returns on funds to be reinvested will fall below anticipated levels. Thirdly, concentration risk. Risk of increased exposure to losses due to concentration of investment in a geographical area or other economic sector. Fourth, Asset or Liability Management ALM, risk. risk that fluctuations of interest and inflation rates have different effects on the values of assets and liability. Lastly, Off-Balance Sheet Risk Risk of changes in values of contingent assets and liabilities such as swaps that are not otherwise reflected in the balance sheet. Fourthly, Operational Risk Operational risk which broadly corresponds to the equivalent item in the risk framework is the risk associated with events such as fraud, systems failure, litigation or regulatory breach within the company. In defining operational risks, a considerable area of uncertainty relates to what exactly constitutes an operational loss. The working party has worked on the basis that operational losses include overtime and temporary staff recruited to solve a problem but not the cost of existing of staff who may be switched to problem solving such marginal costs only. Operational losses would also include lost future income example from regulatory challenges to charges, which might impair embedded value. Loss data for this risk can be difficult to obtain since it has not been required in the past for risk modeling. Capital management focuses significantly on those operational risk events that are infrequent but of high severity. More frequent operational risk events which tend to be smaller can be significantly mitigated or exacerbated by the quality of internal controls and guidelines. Next, examples of operation risk. Firstly, human capital risk. Risk that the insurer will not be able to obtain and maintain sufficient well-trained personnel. Secondly, management control risk. Risk that the insurer fails to have appropriate management discipline or internal controls resulting in inappropriate actions by the insurer or its representatives. Thirdly, system risk. Risk that computer systems failures impair the company's ability to conduct normal business. Fourthly, strategic risks. Risk that arises from the company's inability to implement appropriate business plans, to make decisions to allocate resources or to adapt to changes in its business environment. Fifthly, liquidity risk. Liquidity risk is the exposure to loss in the event that insufficient liquid assets will be available from amongst the assets supporting the policy obligations to meet the cash flow requirements of the policyholder obligations when they are due. This arises from situations in which a party interested in trading an asset cannot do it because nobody in the market wants to trade that asset. The risk that a given security or asset cannot be traded quickly enough in the market to prevent a loss or make the required profit. Liquidity risk becomes particularly important to parties who are about to hold or currently hold an asset, since it affects their ability to trade. Examples of liquidity risk First, liquidation value risk. 
risk that unexpected timing or amounts of cash needed may require liquidation of assets when market conditions would result in loss of realized value. Second, affiliated company risk. Risk that investments in affiliated companies may be difficult to sell or that affiliated companies may drain financial or operating resources from the company. Third, capital market risk. Risk that the company will not be able to obtain sufficient funding from capital markets. Thank you.